Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I thought I'd do a bit of a video just explaining where this channel has been because I've realised I haven't posted over the last couple of months and also just to explain what's coming up on this channel over the next few months and hopefully year. I've got so much planned and I'm excited to tell you all about it in this video. So I guess firstly I should start off by saying you know where have I been recently so for those of you that don't know I study maths at university so I have been in my final year at university on a three-year bachelor's degree and it's been quite busy it's been kind of my last exams and I have to get a certain grade to then get on to a master's which I'll talk about in just a moment but these last few weeks have been incredibly busy just because I've had exams so that's the reason why I haven't posted so I've just been knuckling down and getting on with my exams so that's the reason for the absence but there will no longer be an absence because uh, I've made I've made sure of the plan that I've got to do over summer for next year while I'm doing my masters. So don't worry, videos will still be going up hopefully every week. So in terms of masters, I was actually offered a place at the University of Cambridge and the University of Oxford to study um, mathematics, kind of mathematics and theoretical physics type modules at, in, on both courses. So I'll be heading there in September to be doing a master's in mathematics and I'll be specialising in fluid dynamics and astrophysics. So I realise that's a little bit different to technology, you know I realise this channel is very much technology related but I also have a big passion for astrophysics and maths um, which is incorporated into my, my tech as well. So that is where I'm going in September, that's kind of why over the last couple of weeks I've been so busy because I just wanted to make sure that I definitely got you know the grade that I needed to get in order to get into my masters so that's why it has been a bit quiet however i have finished university now i've got three months before i start at cambridge obviously there'll be a lot of reading up before i go to cambridge but i'm planning on spending a good proportion of my time making videos for the rest of the year when i'm at my masters and hopefully be able to film some more when i'm doing my masters as well just depends on the workload because cambridge will be very intense so i just want to say on this channel that even though i am going to do a pretty intense masters the videos on this channel will not stop my plan over summer is to make so many videos and just have them all scheduled throughout the year and yeah just have some different videos have some fun videos on this channel and also some more modules that you can learn in different programming languages so i guess more of the important part which is more applicable to this channel what am i going to be doing on this channel and you know where am i taking this channel over the next few months so I'm obviously going to stick with my Python videos because they have been really well received. I've noticed that the videos that are less like tutorial series and more just like one-off videos seem to be doing better. They seem to be getting more views so I'm going to stick with a few of those just kind of fun little tutorials that you can do in 20 minutes and then you know you've got some code and it works so i'm going to be doing you know mini little videos like that where it's just a one-off video but i'm also going to be doing tutorial series so basically just covering a load of really relevant modules in python that i think are helpful for beginners and intermediates and also just things that will help you if you then go on to work in the tech industry so i'm hoping to cover a load of different modules in python and also like i said just really fun you know engaging videos and my idea is that I would really like to touch upon not just modules in Python but areas that you can use in Python so artificial intelligence um, machine learning things like that so obviously I've spent a lot of time doing Python on this channel and that will probably be you know a lot of the videos coming in the future but I'm also hoping to do other programming languages as well so web development I know there's been quite a lot of people asking to do web development so I'm thinking of potentially doing web development in terms of Python or also um, you know HTML, JavaScript, CSS, those programming languages as well. So hopefully I'll be able to get you know a few videos on this channel to do with web development, which I know a lot of people have been asking for. And then also I'm thinking of doing beginner programming um, tutorials again for other programming languages, you know, just different programming languages that I think you can then step up to. Um, obviously, as I say, as a beginner, Python is probably the best programming language to learn. But you know I want to make this this channel as kind of as much variety as possible and give you loads of different videos so I'm hoping to also touch on other programming languages as well. I'm also going to try and do some videos where it's more talkative you know telling you about you know the best programming languages to learn in 2022 things like that just some chatty type videos I realise um, you know coding all the time is, is great um, but sometimes you do just want to sit and listen to what someone has to say um, so I do want to keep the you know a bit of variety on my channel so expect some videos where I'm just talking at the camera like I am today and just explaining a few things um, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see because obviously I want to make content that my subscribers want so just comment down below um, and let me know exactly what you want to see on this channel so basically I have 
a lot planned <laughs> for this channel in terms of the YouTube channel. And then aside from the YouTube channel, I, if you don't already know, I do TikToks and Instagram reels and post on Twitter and LinkedIn. So I basically have all the social media and Facebook as well, all social media. So if you have any social media, then make sure you go follow Code of the Future on that. Basically, I'll be posting specifically more on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be posting kind of technology facts. If you already follow me, then you'll see that I've done things like Google tricks, just things that can get people into technology, but also some cool facts as well. Um, and just kind of, I guess, cool information that you can learn in less than a minute. Because that's the cool thing with YouTube is that you can do longer videos so you get more content. Whereas for Instagram and TikTok, I can do smaller ones. Um, and I know I can upload them onto YouTube as YouTube shorts, but I think unless, you know, unless my subscribers want to see them on YouTube as well, I think I'll keep them on my Instagram and TikTok because they're much shorter videos. So that's a plan for other social media. I'm gonna be really interactive on my social media, you know, asking polls, questions and just getting your feedback. So if you have any of the social media, then head over to my Code of the Future or check my link in the description and I've got all of the links for my relevant social media. So make sure you follow me on all of the social media uh, so you don't miss out on any update or anything that I post or technology facts, anything like that. And I guess the final thing that I'm gonna say is thank you so much um i appreciate everyone's support and and comments on my videos i've noticed that over the last two two months where i haven't been posting as much obviously because i've had exams my channel has seemed to grow a lot um and i'm what i'm excited to see is how much it will grow when i continually post uploads you know it's obviously going to grow much more the more i post and i'm just excited to see how far we can take it i have had a few people message me asking in terms of donations where they can donate to my page um obviously you know i don't earn any income from anything that i do on code of the future i'm hopefully maybe get monetized on my youtube channel in which case any money from that any small amount of money that i would get from that would go straight back in the channel but i have set up a donation page on ko-fi and the link is in the description so if you you know want to support this channel even further then you can check out that link and donate to code of the future as i said any donation that i receive will go straight back into this channel just so i can make some great videos and great content for you so as i said if you want to help out with this channel even further and support it even further then do check out the donation page and the social media as well so that is the video today i realize it's been very chatty but i thought i would release a video just to explain that there will be more videos coming up on my channel over the next few weeks i expect there to be a lot more videos from you know first of july onwards once i've moved back home um after university because i'll be moving out of this uh, my university accommodation very shortly so make sure you're keeping an eye on this youtube channel make sure you hit the bell button and subscribe subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos that I post and as always if you like the video then please like subscribe and comment and don't forget if you want to support this page even further then there's a donation link in the description thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video